Hi, I'm David Wood, and I'm here with two of the stars of the hit television show Babylon 5. So, what roles do you Actually, guys... Yeah, it's Babylon. It's Babylon B. The kind of... I mean, a, that, that was a science it, fiction show it does in say, the 90s. It does say Babylon B, but I thought that was uh, like someone had made, you know, tried to make the five with Roman numeral and said Babylon V, and then someone misheard it and said Babylon B, something like that. But you guys, you, no. you guys actually went with Babylon B. There's literally a giant B right, but right behind your head. That, yeah. And that's the logo you came up with. It's a, oh, well, I it's a B. I, 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 and that's the name. Wow. Great one. You could do a spinoff of the, the, the Nineveh Nat. That doesn't start with N. Nineveh Nat. It's a G. Goodness gracious, this is the most boring start to an interview ever. That started with G. All right. So you guys are the Babylon B. Yes, I thought that was. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it sounds like a spelling contest in Iraq, yeah. or I see what you did the, there. The That's town's right. nickname for Nebuchadnezzar's wife. And so, what what exactly do you guys do? Not appropriate. But we're, what exactly? Um, it's a so it's Christian um, Christian satire. So we we so, tell jokes. We tell jokes. Christian mostly. satire. Saying saying Christian satire itself sounds. Like satire, uh, can I point that out? I mean, it's like saying, uh, "Oh, I'm a Seventh Day Adventist cage fighter," or um, "I'm a Mennonite film critic," or "I'm an on Amish NASCAR driver." Yeah, yeah, I see. You guys, you guys do a bang up job here. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, Thank all you. right, appreciate it. appreciate it. And now I am. Bringing you up on Google. Wikipedia says that you were suspended from Twitter for mislabeling a trans woman. How would you feel if someone mislabeled you as talented and relevant? I mean, I feel like... Give, I'll, give, I'll give that one to him. I mean, it seems pretty accurate. It's it's funny. Now, uh -huh. let, let's get to know the real... Uh, I'm sorry, no one knows your names. Yeah. Should we... Maybe we could say our... Why don't you say your name? I'm Kyle. I think people know your name. Oh, he doesn't. Kyle. Kyle. My name's Jared. Kyle and Jared. <laughs> you sound like NASCAR drivers. Um, let's get to know the real Kyle and Jared. Um, when you were kids... Did you want to grow up and become satirists, or did you actually have some sort of ambition to make something of yourselves? I wanted to go to prison. That was good. Well, that's the first <laughs> interesting response you've given towards anything. The clink. A famous person once said, satire is the last refuge of a loser who's drowning in his own failure. How does this quote perfectly describe your work, if we can call it work? I don't who, believe anybody said that. Who said that? I'd uh, like I, I just said it. I did said you a just say a famous person? Famous, yeah, did you just say a famous I am, person? I am famous. What, what was your name again? People know, my, people know my face from YouTube. People know you from your lame tweets, and you don't even have those anymore unless Daddy Warbucks swoops in like Superman and saves your sorry hides. I go to the airport, and people walk up to me, hey, you're David Wood. Can I get a picture? People walk up to you and say, hey, can you give me the gate for the red eye to boring loserville because you're obviously from there. All right. Well, this has been one massive disappointment. Um, so I apologize to all my viewers for, uh, for talking to these guys on my channel. But I am going to be on their channel, the Babylon Bee. And that, I guarantee you, will be a much more fruitful, productive discussion because they will be talking to me and getting answers from me rather than 
this travesty that you've just witnessed. So click on the link. Where did you find this guy? <laughs>